unmixed them so I can't can't go back now. I already mixed all the hops together, they all look the same. But uh these flavor hops about eleven minutes. in the cooler later to cool it down to acclimate the yeast to the temperature and then later pour it in there it's been one week since brew day and six days since I pitched the yeast so let's look at it here Yep, it's all that trub and uh, hop material floating to the top. It's about 50 degrees. There's lots of CO2 in this uh, cooler. So I'm not trying to breathe it too much. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, chub, skim the chub off the top there, as much as I can, so it doesn't get back into the beer when fermentation is done. And I'm gonna take a gravity reading. Can't really see it, but it's sitting around at 1032, 1033. So, still kind of cloudy. It's fermenting alone. There it is, without that yucky green stuff. I got most of it, but not all of it. So I might wait a couple more days till it gets the, the head on it again. To push all that stuff up, see if I can get a little more out of it. But, uh... Looks like it's uh, churning just a little bit at 50 degrees, so it's... It's a good, uh, good indication that it's still chugging. It's producing alcohol not <clears throat> real fast though like ales do. This is my first lager so I'm used to seeing ales getting their, all of their, uh, their sugars attenuated and fermented out within a week, maybe even less than a week and it's about one week in and it's about maybe a third done so I'm, I'm looking at another one or two weeks in here for the uh, primary to be finished and uh, after that I'll probably do a de-rest diacetyl rest if, uh, if I need it I might take a sample and if it tastes like butter or anything then I'm going to have to do a de-rest diacetyl rest for maybe two days or so and then then rack it, and then uh, I'll start lagering it down to like uh, down to 34, 32 degrees, close as I can get it to freezing, and then probably keep it there for oh four to six weeks, maybe. Just depends. Can't read it, but uh, it 
original gravity was 1047 and the current gravity is 1032 at 50 degrees. The alcohol by volume is 2.04% at this time. It's got the alcohol by weight, 1.5% by weight, but I don't really go by that. It's got the apparent attenuation of 31.74%, and the real attenuation is 26%. I'm probably going to do a diacetyl rest and rack it when it's about 75% attenuated uh, from my, uh, my terminal gravity probably rack it uh, before the yeast is all done for before they start stop working so they can uh, get a boost in temperature clean up their their mess in there that they made with the if there's any diacetyl or whatnot and, and uh, <clears throat> exactly two weeks ago I uh, pitched a lot of yeast for the Pilsner and it was fermenting at 50 degrees for two weeks and uh, it got around got down to about 1023 I think on the gravity which is about two thirds of the way uh, to uh, its terminal gravity or estimated terminal gravity and uh, final gravity and uh, I uh, tasted a little bit last uh, about three days ago uh, to see if there was any diacetyl or anything in it uh, butter flavors or butterscotch flavors or anything like that and there wasn't really any off flavors there I mean it was it tasted new it tasted green um, green tasted pretty uh new and fresh um but uh I, I figured it I didn't really taste any butter flavors so I didn't really need to uh give it a diacetyl rest but just in case there was diacetyl there uh I did raise the temp up to 60 degrees 3 days ago so it's still at 60 and uh I'm going to check the uh the gravity here in a minute and, uh, and then I'm probably just gonna rack it to a carboy off the uh, out, of, out of the primary bucket into the, the carboy off the uh, most of most of the uh, yeast but not all of the yeast I want to try to get some yeast still uh, in there it should be still it sh still should be pretty cloudy so I'm hoping you know um, Hoping uh, the yeast to still stay active during lagering, and uh, after I rack it, I'm going to uh, not crash, crash, uh, crash it to lagering. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll decrease the temp like two degrees every day until it reaches like 32 to 34 degrees, and then I'll hold it there for four to six weeks, eight weeks maybe, um, you know, just pretty much until it cleans up its flavor, hopefully it will, this is my first lager, like I said, uh, I'm just kind of going by feel on this one, I don't really have too much experience with lagers, although I've read a lot about them, um, as far as, you know, like, I, I did a diacetyl rest just in case, I didn't taste any butter flavors, you know, diacetyl flavors, but then again, I don't do lagers, you know, that much, this is my first one, so I figure, you know, diacetyl rest won't hurt it, you know, if there is some that I can't taste, you know, I mean, there was a lot of hops in that beer, and, and most of the flavor was still kind of sweet, I guess, from the malt, you know, it, it had that that sweet malt, just a little bit of you know, lager corn graining, uh, malty sweetness to it, and then it had like a lot of hops to it. Um, I added the uh, the aroma and flavor hops to it, and it, I could definitely taste the green hops 
you know, and uh, and on the finish it was just uh, bitter, you know, 